Hey guys, uh, today we're going to start turning a measuring spoon kit that I've seen on uh, PSI Woodworking. Looks like this here. Well, I thought that'd be a fun project to, uh, to do, so uh, if you want to see how I did it, stick around and watch. Alright, for making the blanks we're going to use uh, Alumalite Clear. Before we do anything, we're going to put some mold release in this mold. Alright, now we're going to mix some color in here. Okay. Give it a little swirl here. All right, now into the pressure pot. And then we're going to put 55 pounds in here. This pot's good for 60. Okay, we'll let that sit for a couple hours. Chuck up one of these blanks and uh, drill a seven millimeter hole all the way through. All right, I'm going to mix up some uh, two part epoxy and uh, glue these brass tubes into the blanks. Now before I, before I uh, do that, I take a little piece of putty and just fill the end in so I don't get all the epoxy up inside the, the tube there. Alright, now it's off to the barrel trimmer. Trim them ends nice and square. Alright, now we can mount it on the mandrel. We got some uh, bushings that are for this kit. Slide that bushing on. The smaller bushing goes in the front. All right, now we can uh, slide our tailstock forward, lock that in, 
ready to turn. down to the profile I want and now I'm gonna start sanding. All right we're uh, down to the last grit we got here. It'll be 12,000. Polished up there. Ready to start assembling. Right, I got all my pieces parts here all ready to uh, assemble. So we'll get going on that. First thing I gotta do is press that there finial into the end. And then I gotta press this little bushing that's threaded into the tip. Screw the uh, measuring cup on and snap on the clip. Thread that in. All right, there's one done and three more to go. Here's our finished set here. I think they came out beautiful. Really nice. Alright guys, thanks for watching.